get that done. <laughs> OrangeInsults.com. You don't have to wear the orange tux to help your feet and your body. Uh, Christy Lee's in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom right over there. we got a lot of stuff we got to catch up on. And, uh, can you grab that, please? Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Well, this is Dick Hitchwater sitting in for Carmen Gia. And this <laughs> is some other news. That's, a, that's an old folks wagon. Yeah, we... Other news where our news is some news other than what you've heard until now. And news you most likely won't hear elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Good, good morning to you. Alcohol free taverns and nightclubs are becoming increasingly popular in many cities. Owners of such establishments say because they don't serve booze, they never have to worry about nuisances like fights, property damage, or making any money. <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell if ideas similar to alcohol-free bars will take off. Among the ideas, movie theaters where you're only allowed to read books, or gentlemen's clubs where women take the stage, put on clothes and dance for money with their tops on. <laughs> In other news, B.F. Myers, creator of the Doom Buggy, has died at the age of 94. Those in attendance at BF's memorial service included D.U.I. Douglas, the creator of the Vespa Scooter, <laughs> helping friends yeah, move McMaster's, the inventor of the pickup truck, <laughs> and the creator of the go-kart, Lil Dwarfy Shrinkerson. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> On the health front, a recent study suggests people who wear glasses are less likely to catch coronavirus. Other studies suggest that people who wear fanny packs, suspenders, or puka shell necklaces are less likely to catch STDs. That would be the proper term. I like to refer to them as scrumptious tarts. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Yeah, that's a cute sound. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad. I'll have to get the video game in L.A. Noir and find out what it's all about. Coming up, Christy Lee? Well, coming up, we have what you would do for a grudge. How far would you go? Um, I'd we... kill again. <laughs> not only again. I listen to my podcast. Monopoly is updating community chest. It's updated community chest. Yes. Now that's that's a hilarious term for around here. Big news at the compound. <laughs> Speaking of non-stories, yeah. uh, the UK version of Monopoly arrived at the compound a couple days ago. That's right. Everything's in. Uh, well, it's the same language, but. Uh, so yeah, when are we okay. coming over to play? Uh, okay. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Okay, but. okay. Well, we'll find out about Monopoly coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's great to be here. It's Cosby Server there. Coming up uh, in just a few minutes, it'll be Kostaki Economopolis. We think in Los Angeles, California. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know if he's there yet or not. It's a long drive. Yeah, it's a long drive. I think I saw on his Twitter that he's in Big Bear, California. Is oh. that sounds that right? Oh, all right, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's Willie. There's Josh. Um, let's see, Pat got through the glass over there. The Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom occupied by Christy Lee. Hi. Uh, Josh, by the way, in the OrangeInsoles.com site, give him a chair. There's Chick McGee at the sports desk. And, uh, DraftKings sports desk. Just discussing the uh, Carmen Gia. Yeah, and for those of you who, uh, those the of you who are wondering, uh, well, yeah, Tom, actually, during commercials, yeah, Tom uh, was online uh, trumpeting Carmen Gia facts that we had to sit through the whole, the whole presentation. Uh, and the, now you get to enjoy that, too. The blue convertible in Kill Bill, Quentin Tarantino, is the same one used that once upon a time in Hollywood. Okay. And oh, those are Carmen Gia's? Those are Carmen Gia's, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Aren't you excited about that? Yeah. You're a big fan of those movies. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying to explain to Willie that what the Carmen Gia joke was all about. It's a nice little Volkswagen, cool convertible. You'd love one if you. I'm sure there's a Carmen Gia owner somewhere going, yes. <laughs> I got a note here from a guy saying I have a 1963 Carmen Gia. It starts every time. All right. There you go. Okay, fine car from the Volkswagen people. Thank you very much. What else you got about a Carmen Gia? Well, uh, the Don't Zodiac Killer man. drives one. And, uh, Oh, well, <laughs> one of the main suspects. Yeah, suspect. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Christy, what, what have you got over there uh, in the Navy Federal 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 Division? A very skinny building was reportedly built by a man who was trying to ruin his brother's view of the sea. How skinny is it? Well, thank you for asking, Chick. The building in Beirut, known to locals as Albasa, which translates to the grudge, measures two feet wide at its narrowest point, 14 feet wide at its widest.